Yo, what's up, Goose Gang? Mongoose Fitness, back in business. Let's go. We've been, we've been gone for a while. I've been so busy between school, uh, staying after, and running a winter carnival at my school. It's just been a heck of a load to deal with. I'm back, gonna be coming out with hopefully weekly uploads. We're on a break right now. Hopefully I'll be able to come out with at least three videos over this week. So uh, sorry I haven't been there for you guys, but we're coming back with some new fresh content. Been trying to figure out some new ways to create the videos and stuff between editing softwares. Haven't quite finished it yet, but hopefully we'll be getting there soon. Last workout of the Russian squat routine today, not looking good. Last week I have been, the last two weeks of this program has been absolutely killing me. Just haven't been able to keep up with the prescribed weights. So today we got 475 for I think what's supposed to be two by two. My goal, just hit it for hopefully two singles. So we'll see what's going on with that. And uh, after that, testing probably Wednesday. And then we're going straight on the 20 rep squat routine. So other than that, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys like the new uh, new shirts for my football team. And uh, hopefully eventually, once we get some more subscribers, I'll be able to come out with some uh, Goose Gang merch. So stay tuned. Hope you like the video. And uh, let's go. I don't play y'all pussy down with the Harlem heat. All of a sudden, niggas got a problem with me. Black, what happened? They running around acting like the black don't care eat. Midget Key Alert, hashtag DJ Khaled. Uh, so I've noticed in my warm ups that it was starting to feel heavy at 315. Even though I could squat 475, 315 was feeling heavy. And so I played around with some warm ups and I came to the conclusion of putting a 25 in between each plate, like when you warm up. So you go 135, 185, 225, 275, then 315. It's been doing me wonders. Literally, 315 feels lightweight when you do that method. And some of you might already be doing that and some of you might be saying man that's common sense but just for people who might have overlooked that idea of the warm-up like me make sure you're doing that it's proved to be amazing for these workouts it really helps you get up to weight without feeling so fatigued and also we'll probably do like five to five reps below 275 and then I usually cut it down to three reps for the warm-ups once you go 315 then I usually go like uh, three what is it 65 then 385 to 405 so stay tuned and hopefully I'll see you at 405 here we go no pack the flow that's for sure bottles to pop joints to rock play the background handle my jock hold my glock money to get Cars to flip, bars to sit at and sip cognac with juice to drip. Hoes to see, make sure they know when it's me. Drop that D, can't believe that I am C. Bad boy to the casket drive. Gotta love it, place nothing above it. It's on like that. Don't believe we ain't going like that. We're always gonna be here. We there, every motherfucker's here. Alright guys, so weight's feeling kinda heavy today. Just did a set of 405 for the warm-ups. Um thinking I'm going to try working up to 455 and depending on how it feels, might not go up to 475, but planning on doing hopefully some uh, walkouts with at least 475 so I can get used to heavier weight on my back, maybe even go up some more, but probably not going to be able to squat 475 today. So what we'll end up doing is wait until Wednesday and uh, rest and stretching, rolling out up until Wednesday, and then we're going to try testing on Wednesday. So. Here we go with the higher weight. Let's go. We're gonna stay right here for the life we get. Uh -huh. Going nowhere. Uh -uh. We ain't uh -uh. going nowhere. We can't be stopped now. Cause it's bad boy for life. guys just uh failed the 475 squat which my own ego made me do that uh like i said before i was gonna do the 475 walkouts because i wasn't feeling it today and got a little cocky tried it and failed uh, 
main point to remember failure is an integral part of learning and training and getting gains but um if you fail too much you're not gonna get gains so you gotta think why you're failing why the workouts aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing and a little thing that I've been trying to focus on because this program has caused me to fail a lot more than I usually do now whether that's because of the intensity but I think it's just general preparedness I'm not stepping up to the plate to get ready to do these kind of workouts so uh, over this program I failed that 6x2 at 380 squat I mi well, that one I missed that was my fault because I just didn't feel like working out that day which is bad on me the next workout after that one was this 4x4 four 430 squat I hit a the first set was three, second set was three, third set was one. It was just too much for me. And then, um, last day of the Smolov Junior for bench, I failed the 10 by three, 225 bench. And then my last squat workout before this one was the 455 three by three. So pretty much what's going on is I gotta focus on my goal, right? My sleep schedule has been totally demolished. I've not been sleeping right. Diet plan, haven't even had one, just been eating everything. Stretch routine, non-existent. Warm up routine, it's getting better, but it could be a lot better. And then I gotta keep studying how to get these gains. No excuses. So with this bitter taste of failure in my mind and in my mouth, uh, I can just tell you guys, I really hope that Wednesday proves fruitful, but um, I'm not relying on it because in my mind, I haven't done what I need to do to get the gains that I want. And that's a big thing you have to realize is you can't just say, well, I failed because this program sucks. No, you failed because you didn't work what you were supposed to do. And uh, hey, that's just a part of learning. Now I can go into the next program fully geared and ready and remembering why you need to stick to the program and why it's important to stick to these routines to become who you want to become. So. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Just a prelude to Wednesday's video where I'll be testing. And um, hope you guys enjoy. Remember, no pain, no gain. Shut up and train. And um, I'll try to remember that too next time. So stay tuned. You feel like you want to just give up.